all right taurus what's going on this is taurus and moon rising and venus it is a general reading this may or may not resonate if it doesn't check out other placements if you need a personal reading <coughs> you can reach me out on <coughs> fear probably look at what came out the ace of cups here someone wants to open up have a brand new beginning with you an emotional cycle i don't feel this is someone new could be and they're not being able to tell you let's see Taurus, what's going on in your love life from now until the end of July 2021? Ace of Pentacles. There is a brand new beginning coming in for you, okay? This bringing, this beginning is something that holds a lot of security, stability, commitment. Someone's finally wanting to invest into you the correct way. It's a small opportunity here, but it has the potential to grow very, very big. It could also mean that you could be getting a new business opportunity, a new job offer, a promotion or something like that. Or there could just be a good new financial beginning coming in. All right. For you guys here. But there is stability coming in. But because I'm doing a love reading here, this is like a stability, the opportunity here where you can. Uh, but someone wants to offer you something stable or you want to offer them. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> I said, right, there is no communication between you guys. The conflict, the arguments, the confusion, it's all being created because either there is miscommunication or there is a lack of communication here. Someone's being very dishonest here. Now, dishonest does not mean that this person is lying or cheating on you in that way, in, in a way that they have someone else behind the back. It could be because this person is not telling you what the truth is. And the truth is that probably they want to offer this to you, but they're not telling you. You know, this could be anything with the Ace of Swords in reverse here. This is just probably someone here who's just not ready to open up. Okay, maybe this person does not feel confident enough to open up, right? It could be anything. But right now, I feel that clear communication is the key and that's not happening here. Maybe you guys have, you know, there's like a clash of different mindsets or, you know, belief systems between you both. But this person is not in the right mindset right now to open up. Okay. This person's allowing their emotions to cloud their ability to think very uh, critically and logically about a situation. Okay. Tell me more about Taurus from now until the end of July 2021. What's going on in their situation in love? Yeah. See, you want to come out. This person wants, oh my God, so many new beginnings out here. But you know, you have an ace of pentacles, you have the ace of cups here. So not only do you have a stable beginning coming up, you also have... A new beginning coming up and love emotionally but the main problem out here is that is this person even telling you that they want all this with you <laughs> that's very weird someone wants to take a leap of faith with you okay someone wants to take a risk okay they're probably all this while they were wanting to stay in their comfort zone but now they're ready to you know take a leap of faith and trust what the universe has to offer and just go with it okay just jump into it tell me more The lovers in reverse. So there has been a breakup between you both. You were more emotionally involved in this connection rather than this person out here. Maybe you wanted commitment, you wanted marriage, you wanted stability out here. Okay. But now it's like instead, you know, you, you I think you both were in a very, very um in a very good relationship. Okay. This was like a long term relationship, okay? Everything was very good. You guys were very happy together, okay? But now I think that even if either you both are still into this relationship, okay, if this is if you guys are still there, but there's like this falsehood, okay? You're pretending that everything is still wonderful, but actually it's not. Or there is just like someone who's just making it very, very difficult for you to love them or for them to love you here. But the lovers in reverse here, there is a choice that someone needs to make. I thought they get committed and they move towards you with a lot of uh, with the same amount of passion, um, uh, emotions, spiritual um, energy, or then they just let it go, okay? But with the lovers in reverse here, I feel there was a breakup here, okay? You guys were not on the same page. I'm hearing you guys did share the same values or belief system, non-committal, or whatever. Uh, tell me more. Yeah. See, this, this, this is a situation here that instead of making you happy, like it's like a wish come true for you, you know? Probably this person was your wish come true. This person was someone who made you very happy. You were very content, okay? You were probably like getting what you want and you know, and uh, you know, it was like a lot of emotional fulfillment. But I think 
what happened is that all of a sudden there was like this you know you were feeling stagnant in this relationship like there was all this honeymoon stage of starry eyes and you know all you know all goody goody stuff and then all of a sudden things just came to a halt here and now you have this sense of disappointment you know because you're like sitting there with your thoughts and feelings and you're just like you know you're not quite where you want to be in this relationship okay uh, this is like a wish that turned out to be a disaster but it's a situation that's emotionally draining you out okay tell me more this person's procrastinating which is why they keep missing opportunities here you're dealing with someone very very immature very immature person out here this person wants to make all the effort they want to you know like uh, they procrastinate basically they probably think about you dream about you etc here you know a lot of daydreaming you know this person daydreams a lot you know they want to do this they want to do that they'll come and tell you this they'll come and tell you that but the thing is that where is the talking where is the communication i told you right that's the most important thing and that's the that's just missing out here this person is not taking advantage of the opportunities that they have with you because they're lacking goals probably they're irresponsible you know probably they're just lazy very immature you know this person i mean this could make you feel very bored in the relationship also okay it could be it could be but i feel this person's really uh struggling you know to bring something more tangible into this connection and they're finding it really difficult you know to move forward with their ideas that's what's happening here there's just no groundwork no follow through from this person here could be having someone could be having a very unhealthy lifestyle is what i'm hearing probably even obsession with tarot let's see this person's wasting time tell me more tell me more see would just when i said waste of time they're sitting on the fence doing nothing they're doing nothing they're not making a decision they're not moving forward they're not moving backward they're procrastinating they have a lot of fear of making the wrong choice or fear of failure whatever it is this person just enjoys staying in their comfort zone you know which is why there's a lack of clarity out here you know this person out here is probably someone you know who lacks optimism you know they're so pessimistic right they're not being able to focus on uh, the positive aspects of the relationship or you know that overall where i can make this work out this can still work out this can still be salvaged they're losing their optimism you know they're just very pessimistic very very negative you know very negative but this could be a long distance relationship okay and they're having a hard time making trying to make it work out they're not being able to come up with a plan at least a workable plan and probably that's why they're not being able to communicate with this communicate this with you which is draining you out they're they're probably unhappy they're very unhappy without you is also what i'm getting tell me more for taurus wow they want marriage they want commitment this person is very confused you know they're very confused because all these cards the ace of pentacles ace of cups uh four of wands these are all such good cards out here this is screaming commitment screaming marriage they want something they want to get engaged they want to be with you you know they want that stability security within the connection but you see the procrastination coming in from the ace of swords in reverse the the page of pentacles in reverse it's it's all procrastination which is keeping the entire situation on hold and one of you is getting drained out or even both of you are okay that's a very emotionally codependent person that you're dealing with you make them very very happy but because of this breakup right and this breakup has probably been happen a lot of times okay they still not be able to make up their mind tell me more see they want a reconciliation they want to talk they want a reconciliation they realize they fucked up they know they screwed up this person has been sabotaging this connection all this while you know they've been sabotaging this connection all this while 
they were pushing away what they always wanted because of probably it's just a way of how they were brought up they probably had a hard time you know opening up or you know someone did this to them because of which they have trust issues and they realize that you're walking away and now this person wants to compromise they want to reach a compromise they probably want to have like um like a communication reconciliation if not a full-blown reconciliation what's the ace of pentacles yeah, see, they're in two minds about this offer here. They're not being able to make up their mind. They're trying to uh, make a decision. Because it's like something that's, you know, very heavily on their mind. And they want to try and figure it out if they can balance this commitment or balance this, you know, with the other things that they have in mind. Because two of pentacles is someone, you know, who's probably very, very busy or someone who's got a lot on their plate, you know. And they're just constantly trying to juggle. So they're trying to juggle a decision. I don't think this is with someone else. Could be doesn't have to be for everyone but this is just them and two minds you know do i want this do i not want this what are the advantages what are the pros and cons you know i mean is this something that is workable something like that a space of swords and rivers yeah see they're emotionally staying balanced this person wants to make a decision not because you're forcing them to or not because you're in no communication but they want to make it make a decision here where they don't feel forced you know and they want to try and avoid getting involved with you right now because they don't want unnecessary drama could also be i'm getting more of that yes they could be ignoring the problem hoping that'll go away but uh, i think they're trying to brainstorm all the possible po options you know and consequences in their logical head you know in a very rational manner what's the of thoughts yeah see they want the new beginning with you but they have a very negative mindset out here they're losing hope and faith that it can work out universe is uh the universe is testing them you know how badly they want this but the thing is that they're losing hope and faith probably because there's no communication from your side or probably because you're not showing any interest out here you know a negative mindset can do so much damage and a positive mindset it can just create wonders just saying whoever this is for the lovers in reverse why is this yeah yeah see of course that's why usually the breakups happen right because there's a lack of commitment here there's no stability no security uh you know this person is not being able this person is either not ready for marriage guys or this person is has family or tradition that's coming in between or this person's just too focused on their money and they don't really put in the effort to make try and make a relationship work out okay what's the nine of cups in reverse negative thoughts this person is a very very negative thinker i can't stress enough you know it's like every single time they think of coming towards you right it's like yeah you know i want to go and um you know make things right i, I want this new beginning etc with taurus what happens is that this person here instead of overcoming the challenges in the relationship this person starts to talk themselves down you know yeah negative self-talk that's what I'm getting. <coughs> you know, I think this person here is trying to just examine whether they can come out fighting in the current situation or whether it is just time to move on and build a new life. I think this person is very unhappy without you, but that constant ch mind chatter is going on in their head. You know, oh, it's not going to work out. Oh, you know, they keep remembering the past memories. They keep remembering how you guys fought or what you said to them. Words could have been said, very, very hurtful words could have been said out here, okay? Which could have been playing in their mind over and over again. You could have hurt them bad, you know, which is why they're so upset thinking about it. What's the page of pentacles in reverse? they want to they want to they want they need to gather that willingness and determination okay they need to get that willingness and determination to move forward out here but they're procrastinating the idea of probably traveling towards you this you could be living at a distance from them but i think this person's uh trying to gather that courage and will you know to move forward towards you and overcome any obstacles out here they're just getting prepared for it they're getting prepared for it it probably should be soon enough till they're ready to come towards you but um the chariot i really like it's a very positive card you know and it's more like nothing can make anything successful here because the chariot is all about you know uh taking that road with confidence you know focusing on that one key goal single-mindedly until it's achieved you know so this person is very focused very determined you know and they're you know very, uh, they're remaining um 
very resolute in pursuit of their goals out here okay trying to overcome the obstacles with that determination willpower here but the point here is that do they have a plan look one point is that you can just go ahead you know just take a risk they can just go ahead and do what you want to but you need to have a plan and that's something this person probably even lacks the confidence out here okay two of wands in reverse why is this one two of cups in reverse yeah see there is a disconnection here there's a disconnection here you guys love each other but you know this person out here is probably being very indecisive putting everything on hold out here you know they're very fearful of making the wrong choice here because there's already been a clash there's already been a breakup out here and they don't know what they can do to get you back on board out here it's just fear out here that's just fear but they do feel a lack of love and emotional support from your side you know they're finding it very difficult to express their emotions you know in a very accurate way you know you could also be dealing with someone here who's afraid of love or who just, who's just afraid you know uh to open up to anyone or maintain committed relationships i could also i, I feel that here this person loves you but they're very very scared to be in a committed relationship they're just afraid of love overall four of wands what's that <laughs> yeah see this person lacks the effort they lack the effort here you know the four of wands is the card of commitment here so yeah you want commitment but are you ready to put in that uh persistent hard work are you ready to be the you know be the patient optimistic practical responsible you know that persistence that hard work you know that stubbornness you know that i'm going to achieve my goal here it's like a very slow process that this person you know needs to make but they're not in the right frame of mind here this person is not ready for commitment and stability you know it's a very unstable relationship because uh, there's no action from this person side this person's probably very weak very lazy yeah or just could be someone here you know who's um wanting a relationship they want a committed relationship but they're not ready to work for it okay they just probably lack the motivation this is what i'm getting here because the page of pentacles in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse this is all a lack of motivation here you know very irresponsible pessimistic again five of swords here in reverse why is this here wow that this they're um they want to come towards you they're thinking about it there's a lot of wait and watch wait and watch wait and watch I'm not ready to make that leap yet they want to think about it they want to sleep over it they're not sure and uh it's like you know after like this breakup that you guys have had right this person wants to take that um space you know they want this space and thinking time okay and um probably just rest and rejuvenate they need this time away from the relationship to take care of their own emotional needs and you know gather their thoughts you know but i feel this person has a very strong desire to be alone right now you know to think and understand what they want what they value you know what they want in this relationship you know before jumping into it so yeah i think you should give this person that time because the realization is there for sure okay it's just going to be about time uh, before they come towards you with that leap of faith and you know communicate with you okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye